So now the uh, last uh, and uh, perhaps uh, more uh, important question uh, for our class uh, this uh, week. Um, John Dewey, uh, what we can uh, learn from him? Uh, I remember one of you asked me uh, during our uh, questions, answers uh, uh, session, how uh, important is education or information which we have, uh, which we accumulate during this, uh, our life for um, the quality of our philosophy. Is, uh, it could be that uh, the ignorant um, could be uh, as good uh, as, as someone who tried to, to read uh, everything what uh, happened to, to in his hands or her hands uh, uh, and uh, try to read as much as possible. I would say we need to staying on the ground of um, pragmatic uh, philosophy or prag pragmatism of John Dewey, we have to be relaxed toward the growing amount of knowledge. Uh, these basic uh, notions uh, which uh, he introduced in many books, in, in many years of education, he traveled in, in his time around the world, he was uh, in, even in China, uh, he was uh, in Europe, of course, as far as I remember, he was not in Poland, but uh, his uh, ideas of new education, of this connecting education with, uh, with experience, with democracy, with uh, taking account of individual needs of uh, pupils, of, of children, it was um, very present. We can call it zeitgeist. Uh, now I, I know someone who is writing um, a PhD uh, dissertation of, on education comparing Dewey with uh, Janusz Korczak. Uh, and it is not the problem if uh, really Janusz Korczak was aware of um, ideas developed in the United States uh, uh, at the end uh, of 19th century or in 20s or 30s, but it was important that uh, we can observe, if you are familiar with Janusz Kor Korczak and his um, activities in uh, orphanages, uh, uh, particularly the, the last years during the war in Warsaw Ghetto, he was living with children. He was uh, finally went with them to, to Treblinka. He died with them. But what is important is not this tragic, of course, tragic uh, uh, final uh, uh, stage of, of Korczak's life and his children, but it's exactly this uh, ability to develop this awareness of that I am an uh, active part in the education process. And I think this is the most important. Uh, I, of course, I'm not discouraging you to, to, to read what you will find on, on the platform. Please do it, particularly experience and education, but more important than reading is to applying uh, your own life experience, to compare how it was, how it is in my, in my educational process. It was really uh, my talents, my uh, special abilities which I have, they were uh, in a uh, in certain way included in the educational process or it was uh, not uh, important, not relevant for my teachers. Uh, of course, I'm aware that, for example, uh, the final exam of this course is based on, on, on the very anonymous test. Uh, not all, because you have uh, first three questions in which you can uh, tell me your personal uh, 
uh, thoughts about philosophy, about the, what it is philosophy, which kind of different ways we are uh, formulating our ideas, how these ideas are relevant for our, uh, for example, uh, public, uh, political, or religious life. So, of course, I, I expect that you will uh, creatively, uh, using your imagination, answer these questions. But the rest, uh, okay, uh, I suppose that you will uh, apply your memory and you will remember who is who, who is the founder of pragmatism in, in today class or who and for which reasons uh, Hypatia was killed as we were discussing last time and so on and so on or who wrote certain uh, works. This is important, the knowledge is important, but more important is that you are the subject all the time, that you are aware for um, for which purposes you are memorizing certain facts why you are reading why you are opening yourself for other uh, cultural or religious or philosophical tradition this is very important and and now i would also like to connect this uh, pragmatic approach of, of john dewey into in the process of education to the present uh, situation of, of america as as you know uh, this country is so dramatically polarized 81 million votes for uh, president G joe biden who will uh, be confirmed uh, on his uh, office of president uh, uh, in this uh, month on 20 of January, but you have 75 uh, uh, voters who vote for Donald Trump. And there's nothing wrong that we have different sympathies, but what is important is not only to the enthusiasm to win to, to see our candidate as a successful uh, runner for the office, as, as a, our president, but also in the, in the process of education, of being uh, full responsible citizens, we also have to learn how to accept defeat, how it is possible that in this time my candidate won, but next time it could be different, but both are a possible situation in the democratic society. So we have to learn that our life is not only a series of successes. It could be also sometimes a defeat. So to learn also from these experiences and this attack on capital, which we saw, you know, the, the, the enthusiast followers of Trump, they, they were really uh, behaving as barbarians. And it's not an, a judging uh, concrete people, but it's simply applying your critical thinking to this new situation for most of Americans. He never thought that it's possible that we Americans will react in this irrational way. So I think that is, uh, in a certain sense, is the failure of education. And we can, of course, uh, reflect how it is in Poland, why uh, so uh, important in, in our public debate are emotions, why we are not using a critical mind, why we are... Um, absolutizing our worldview with the reality that we cannot distinguish between my view, my opinion, and with the reality which is more complicated, more complex than just my opinion. And I think that uh, Dewey, with his pragmatic approach toward education, toward democracy, toward your own process of learning is, is also helping us to, uh, to understand certain blind points in our life. 
that we arrive to a certain point that we are unable to discuss in a reasonable way about our political opinions. And of course, if this is the new situation which we are living now in the second decade of 21st century. This is 100 years later. So it doesn't mean that we have only to study, to repeat what Dewey uh, wrote uh, 100 years ago, but we have to discover the, the, the patterns, the principles, uh, philosophical, cultural background which is behind, and to apply all this what, what we will detect, what we will discover, to a new situation, to our own situation. And, and I think that this new situation is, for, the, for example, the social media, so easily accept, uh, um, uh, so easily the access to, to Facebook, to Twitter, to all this Instagram is very easy, right? You are immediately participant in the global debate. But we have to reflect on it. We have to be aware that words are, have consequences, that it is not indifferent how you describe others. Because if you are using uh, uncritically for example, emotional uh, adjectives, sometimes very strong adjectives toward others, you are dehumanizing them. You are really not entering in dialogue, but you are creating a virtual alternative world. And this is not how democracy is working because we have to debate about the same reality which we have around us. They are not many realities. They are not many uh, Americas. This is only one country, and we have to, to reach a consensus and understanding what it means to be citizens of the same country discussing, sometimes resigning from our opinions when we are wrong and the, when the other are helping us to realize that we are wrong. So it's not humiliating when you realize that, that information which you had till now were not sufficient. They were not really giving you the full picture. So you are open for criticism, which is not uh, depriving you of your dignity, but the opposite. This is the constant process of growing, of discovering the new horizons, new uh, approaches to the same reality. So I think this, what, what Dewey, perhaps forgotten even in, in the United States, could help people today to discover the beauty of confrontation, the beauty of real struggle, but not to destroy the other side, not to consider them as enemies, as um, uh, who are threatening us, but someone who is helping us to, to discover uh, beauty of the world which is bigger than we can imagine. So the founding father of uh, American pragmatism is someone who is really inviting us to be uh, optimist, uh, to believe in the power of education, to believe in power of reason, to believe in power of enlightenment, but in the same time to also be uh, tolerant enough to understand that uh, perhaps someone have to start this process of education because uh, he or she used the wrong uh, instruments to educate uh, himself or herself. So I hope that we will have a very good uh, discussion, exchange of ideas. What, it, what does it mean to be a follower of John Dewey and how we can really construct the better new world? So see you uh, in class.